I stole the next GoPro. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, got my cousin Will here this morning. He's loading up some hay for me, uh, some hay that we've sold that he's going to uh, kindly deliver for us. So for those of you wondering, yes, I do want to get Will to do the bale off challenge um, with the same bales as well. He was the one who wrapped them with all that wrap really tight, made it really difficult for me to get a good time. So it's only fair that he has a go. The plan was I was going to go around to his farm and film him doing it, but obviously because of lockdown we can't. So we might have to uh, push that one back. But yeah, it's only fair that he has a go. I still love that trailer. I'll take that. I stole the next GoPro. We're going to do a proper bale challenge. Nick and his dad did a bale challenge using my bales. Oh, they couldn't cut through it fast enough. Oh no, well, it's got to be the bales. Maybe he made them too tight. Maybe he put too much wrap on. None of those things are actual things. Can't put enough wrap on. Preserve the far edge. Nick, what you did is you used the wrong knife, brother. And uh, I'm going to use a Stanley knife and absolutely piss all over your tone. What are you doing, Will? Well, I'm looking at a horse. Say hello, Neptune. Hello Neptune. Right, well someone asked me on Instagram what's my favourite tractor and why, and that's the one I was driving a minute ago, the 5100M. It's probably not the best tractor, 6930 is probably a better tractor. It's more powerful, it's more comfy, 5100 doesn't have front suspension, it's got a manual gearbox, but it is like a total pocket rocket, it's 100 horsepower, it'll do every job on a farm, so although it mainly cuts bales and pulls a trailer, it will pull a grain trailer, 12 ton full, it'll do all the fertiliser spreading, if we sprayed, it'll lift a sprayer, you know, cheap cheap little tractor like that, it can do pretty much everything on the farm. And there she is, total babe, I mean she's filthy as hell, but that's because well, everything's been frozen the past week or so, so I haven't been able to power wash her. Nick's hay, I'm gonna go and deliver that later. Right, someone asked to see the Sanderson, you should know, I mean, no surprise really. You've seen a few of my bits of kit. They're not that clean. Wait till the summer. Everything will be clean and lovely. Six, nine, four, no windscreen. Sanderson. Here she is in all her lovely glory. Um, she's in like really good nick for her age. Don't worry about that bit of oil there. I just changed the pipe on her. I changed the pipe on her because I'm going to sell her. Ooh, LED lights. More LED lights. I'll have a look inside. See what she's like to start. Everything on her works, apart from obviously with a tractor of this age, the, the, the fuel gauge has to break and the rev meter has to break. But you don't want to worry too much about a rev meter. Who, who, who needs that? You're in a Sanderson. I just realised that I've been on Nick's Farm, Nick's Farm, Nick's Farm, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I, I realise you guys don't really know a lot about me apart from the fact I'm Nick's cousin. So, um, I'm 33. I run a 330 acre, 330 something acre. It's, 120, it's 131 hectare farm. We used to do a lot of cereal farm, pretty much farm all of it apart from 30 acres worth in cereal. And now we've moved to a lot more forage, which I enjoy more. And I think the reason I enjoy it more is because my background isn't in farming. Although I went to an agricultural college and everything, my background's actually in horticulture. I did a, a degree in uh, in running golf courses, so I did a degree in grass, which sort of lends itself to uh, to forage. Yeah, and we're just seeing how it goes. You know, I'll probably be doing something completely different in like a year and a half. I've any of my neighbours or whatever, you ever speak to them. Any of you guys watching this, then uh, you'll all know that I just flip from one thing to another. But I think that's a good thing in a business. You never want to get stuck down just doing the same stuff all the time. I better go deliver these bales. How much battery have we got left? Oh, 27%, I haven't done the bale thing yet. Uh oh. Right, so these are the two bales I just dropped off. That's some lovely straw. Little bale of alfalfa, good kush. I supply these guys with hay. And as you can see, it's lovely and green and leafy. Look at that. This is what the... Uh, bales of alfalfa look like so there's the plant there super leafy animals love it man just sort of looks a bit seaweedy looks a bit weird but honestly they can't get enough what up horse right get the bales for the old bale challenge now all of the, all of that is uh nick and his dad to make excuses 
Oh, the wrap's too thick. Oh, the, 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 the white wrap in the cold. Yeah, yeah, that, ha that has an effect. I think that's just a poor excuse for a poor knife choice, if you're gonna ask me. I'm getting, well, I should let you know, all my wrap is 30 microns thick. I get it specially made at a factory for me. Don't mess about. Lucerne, alfalfa, it's quite stalky, requires thick wrap. The last thing I want is mold for my customers. I mean, put it this way, I had 100 odd bales spoiled all last year. This year I've had three. So, I mean, it massively reduces the spoilage. Totally worthwhile. I also use clear wrap um, because I can see what's going on. Can't see the mold inside because of the plastic, because it's too few plastic. Super thick wrap and extra layers. It's not gonna make a difference when it comes to the uh, bale off challenge because I'm gonna use a Stanley knife, not a pen knife, Nick. It's not going to get stuck, it's not going to get caught up. Right, bail off. Got a Stanley knife in my pocket. I've got a timer over there because ain't nobody to time me, so the timing's got a little bit off. Nick will have a more accurate version, he'll cut it in here. So here we go. Right, I make that about 30 seconds. Suck on it, Nick. Yeah, I don't think the eight layers of wrap uh, had anything to do with stopping the knife. Look how deep that went. It's gonna be interesting rewrapping that one. The netting has completely fallen off it. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna go horribly, I'm sure. Go on. We're talking. I think this might work. Oh, that's a big bit come off there. Oh, that's a mess. Huh. Safe. Oh, the old Ford. Oh, luxury inside. AC coming in, lovely jubbly. Batteries because choose batteries up. Wrapper on the back computer for the wrapper. This is the, this is the most complicated thing I have on the farm, this computer. Someone else wanted to see the combine. It's John Deere 1188. It's from 1987. It is as old as me. 18 foot header. It's got a chopper on the back. It's had pretty much everything done to it over the years. There's loads of writing all over it in a uh, black marker pen like this here. It says when that bearing was done. That bearing was done on June 2009. And yeah, it's just that written all over. My cousin used to do that. I brought it from him, not Nick, a different cousin. And I've kept that up. Every year we've done stuff to it. Last year I had the straw walkers rebuilt a load of new blocks. Um, new chains, new sprockets, things like that. Yeah, John Deere. This used to be the big tractor to me compared to the golf course tractors. Lovely, mate. Proper 100 series, John Deere. Nick drove this one to my wedding. I drove that one. Uh, my brother drove the 500, which is over there. She's got a pickup hitch, but it's a slightly different one from a normal deer. She's on a log chipper at the moment. Log chipper, wood splitter. One single acting hydraulic, old school. A double acting and a return. A bit I love inside this though. Oh, my brother locked it up, no way. My brother was using this. He locked the other side too. Shit he has. I haven't got a key and I can't start anyway because I'd take the battery off to start the 5100. The bit I love is, you might be able to see there, just in between the uh, the dash and the steering wheel, there's three lights. They tell you when the indicators come on. One is for the tractor, one is for a trailer, and one is for another trailer, which is ambitious to say the least. It makes a hell of a lovely sound when it goes. Boom. Acrobat, yeah, we still use it. It's pretty good for turning the alfalfa. Knocks off less leaves. I've got a plan. So I've got another Acrobat. And I'm gonna get this bit and I'll weld it there. Make like a six gang acrobat. Nick, you just asked the question, can you have your camera back? Yeah, maybe later on when I come to get that other bale, dude. But right now, doing my own thing, innit? Someone asked me, why haven't I done my own farm YouTube account? And the answer to that is very simple. I like just to take the piss, really. So it works a lot better if I'm just with Nick, just, you know, 
taking a mick. <laughs> it's more fun just to do a little bit. Like, does that make sense? Like, I quite like Instagram. Just go on there every day. Um, just use it as a tool to, you know, that's why I pick up customers for all the, the forage. I don't think I'd have enough stuff to do, to be honest, uh, on a on a, on a a YouTube. Plus, talking to myself. I do enough of talking to myself anyway. It'd be kind of weird if I started videoing it all the time. Someone wants to know how tall Nick is. He's pretty small. Um, I mean... Let's think, when you compare him to, what should we compare him to? Round bale of hay? A typical four foot round bale of hay. Nick's probably, you know that swirl you get in the middle? His head's probably about there. That's how, that's how tall Nick is. Ted, come on, Ted. He's going round a tree. Teddy, yeah. I got asked what I think the most important things in farming are. Um, I think for me, this isn't for everybody, for me, it's like, look after the environment, produce food for people and make money. You gotta do all three, man, because it's gotta be a successful business in order to thrive and reinvest. UK has very strict regulations about environmental care and our farmers do a lot of good work. British farmers are probably the best farmers in the whole world. And I'm not just saying that because I am one. We do a lot for the environment. People don't realize it. People don't realize all the different HLS, ELS, countryside stewardship, greening measures, crop rotations, and just voluntary things that people, that farmers do, just like this, planting a hectare of trees. We did it, we didn't get paid for it. There's no government incentive. Not that that's a bad thing. Government incentive is a great thing. We did it because we love the environment. So does everybody. Right, um, it's been an hour or so. Uh, I probably better take this camera back to Nick now. Um, I'm gonna go back to his farm to pick up a sample bale because uh, I hooked him up with a guy who was looking for some hay and that's why I delivered, or well, I'm gonna deliver in a minute. Um, but Nick has a few other bales for sale and I'm just gonna take a sample one back. So all business and I've got to awkwardly socially distance leave, socially distancey leave this camera, that's too much words. I'm gonna have to drop this camera off far away from Nick and then watch him pick it up. I'll be like, what have you done with that? And I'm gonna be like, I kicked your ass when it came to the bale challenge, mate. It's been nice speaking to you. I'm sorry that the videos aren't more interesting it's it's the winter it's really cold um apart from just delivering produce to other farmers i mean that's pretty much all i'm doing at the moment that machinery maintenance um i got the oil to drop on that 5 100 the back end oil to drop when i get back from delivering the things later on today so i mean that's just my day um i tried to answer as many questions as i could follow me on uh, on instagram at redhill.farms to see what else i get up to usually it's more fun all right take it easy there he is, Nick's farm. There you are. Brought your camera back. What have you been doing with my camera? I just, I've been filming horrible, rude things. Oh, no, not man. really. I've done the bale challenge. You've done the bale challenge? Yep, I did the bale challenge to prove to you that it wasn't the thickness of rat. So you did quite well with it then? I did all right, man. You get to look through the footage and see. Oh, did you beat me? Maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh. I definitely beat your dad, that's for sure. That wasn't difficult. Yeah, it wasn't too <laughs> difficult. It wasn't too bad. Right, I'll pop this do down. Wanna, do you want to pull up there and we'll, um, I'll get your bail loaded? Yeah, no worries. I'll leave that on that bail over there for you to pick up. Definitely. We don't have to touch. Yeah, yeah, social distancing. Yeah. Social distancing and all that. Sanitizer. Yeah. yeah. All right, dude. I'm glad you've done the cha challenge anyway. That's good. Yeah. I think. <laughs> do you have to think what he's been filming? So you had fun then, Will? I had fun. With my camera? I had fun with your camera. I'm looking forward to seeing the bale off. Yeah, the bale off's pretty good. Is he use the same bales? Yeah, he used the same bales. Same bales. There's a wrap, that, yeah. that wrap. Well, have they been sitting inside or outside? Outside. Outside, okay. I mean, I video me getting them <laughs> off the pile. I think I'm just uh, looking for excuses Oh, what, because you're looking for that excuse because the wrap got cold? Yeah, I think I'm just looking, that up. I'm just looking for excuses. Yeah. Cold wrap, no, apparently the white wrap. Apparently. Apparently, <laughs> apparently it gets colder, <laughs> I don't know, excuses. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Bye, Will. Bye, Nick. Socially distanced. Socially distanced. High five. See you later. <laughs>
right guys, thanks for watching today's video. I actually haven't seen today's video, so I'm not entirely sure what it is you guys have just watched, but I'm sure Will managed to keep you entertained. So yeah, if you want to see more from me and sometimes Will and of course Dad, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell as well to get notified when a new video goes up. So stay safe out there everybody, and we will see you in the next one. At least I beat Dad's bail off time.